This video is very exciting for us. Why? Because we get to show off our first impressions on Valve's Knuckles EV3 prototype. Coming up. First of all, welcome to another episode of our Dive Into VR series where we share our excitement about VR technology, VR news and just everything beyond that. Subscribe if you haven't yet to join more of these kind of adventures. So, the knuckles that I'm holding at the moment are the EV3 version, so still prototypes. This means that whatever you see today in this video might still change. But I'm guessing that the base functionality, which we will show off, will probably still be the same. Before we get started, do you remember when we went to Seattle last year and also visited Valve? Over there we met a couple of really awesome people and one of them actually recognized us before we even introduced ourselves so we thought that was pretty cool and with him we have been in uh, contact ever since and he actually became a really cool friend and to him we showed our interests in checking the knuckles out to uh, practice with them in advance but also to help out by providing feedback. And so we wanted to give Fins from Valve a big shout out for sending them over and giving us this opportunity to make this video. So thank you so much. We will be showing the Knuckles off with the Moondust Tech demo. This is a demo app made for the Knuckles by Valve with four interactive mini games that show off the Knuckles potential and demonstrates new game mechanics enabled by this controller. This is an app that the developers can use to see how they can implement the Knuckles capabilities in their own games and apps themselves. For developers watching you can actually download the source files of Moondust on github. Now let's quickly go through the box. This is the box. First thing you see is a handy get started guide. I have to say it was really easy to get them set up just like what you're already used to with the five controllers. Then underneath them are the knuckles and two USB-C cables. On both hands are a couple of buttons. The A and B buttons, a trackpad here, a thumbstick, a system button, the trigger button. There are no grip buttons, but instead you get a finger tracking force grip sensor here, which I'll show off in a bit with the demo. The USB-C connector is down here. This is the tracking bar. And your hand goes in here. You can adjust the strap here and here to make it fit your hands. One of the best things about the knuckles is that you can actually open your hands without them falling. Now I will show you the advantage of this in the demo too. And now it's time to turn on virtual reality. So as you can see, we are on the moon. Hence the name of this uh, tech demo is Moon Dust. I am so excited to show off these knuckles because I think they have just such high potential of increasing uh, immersion in some games and apps. And uh, in this demo, I can show you why I think that is. And uh, as you can see here, there are four orbs. Each orb takes us to uh, one of the four uh, mini games. And right now we are already in one of them. Um, and in here we have one goal, and that is to load up that spaceship over there. I already did some of them uh, with these rocks right here. Let me grab one of them. Just break them in here and then it will go and load up the spaceship. I'm guessing that spaceship needs to go to Earth or something. We need to go home. So that is uh, our job in this mini game. But first of all, let me show you the controllers. Let me see if I'm standing right. Okay, look at this. The finger tracking in motion. I think it is just so awesome to be able to do this. Um, look at this. Per finger. Uh, uh. Mm -mm. How cool is this? <laughs> Pinky? Pinky promise? It works so well. I love it. And I'm not pressing any buttons, guys. It's just tracking my fingers. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't look at that. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me show them off to you in this game. Because actually, in this game, we have to use almost uh, all this uh, finger tracking and also the force grip. So, let me grab a stone. Grab both of them. So one of the exciting capabilities of the knuckles is that you can actually let go of the controller without it falling. So I'm holding an object now by closing my hand lightly, but if I let go of the controller, I let go of the object. I think that's just really adds on a level of uh, immersion. It's intuitive this way. I can squeeze it using uh, the sides of the controller. So I can squeeze it lightly, you can see. I'm squeezing it lightly right now, so uh, and also the controllers 
vibrates right now and if I squeeze it really tight it uh, blows up and I feel super strong and I like this little animation when I grip it lightly you can see when it will explode it is just so cool that the controllers have a pressure sensitivity different levels of them it is uh, I like that a lot. Um, well, but of course, developers have so many other creative, creative things that they can do with this, and and I'm just so surprised with this. <laughs> so cool to do this. But let me finish this uh, loading up first. Are we almost done? Oh, it is done. It's going. <laughs> Bye. Well, maybe I should have bored it, but it's too small to fit me. So. Let's just watch it fly away. So that's basically what you do in this uh, mini game. Actually, uh, let us go inside one of the other uh, mini games. So in this mini game, there are a couple of things to try out. Like uh, you can grab a grenade, activate it, throw it around, and uh, it will explode. You can throw it on the target or something. But another thing to try in here is, of course, the squeezing. Look at this. You can see, really see, the different levels of pressure sensitivity with this object. Like, squeezing it lightly to more tight. <coughs> now I'm doing it super tight. <laughs> and you can see that. It is so cool. And another thing that's cool is that you can now do this. Oh, oh crap. Now it's uh, kind of challenging to grab an object at the right timing <laughs> to not make it fall <laughs> oh look at that <laughs> ah, ah, no my little ball there's uh, actually also a um, I don't know a controller that uh, can change the level of gravity here so if I push it like here the gravity is different let me show you oops <laughs> accidentally uh, gripped my uh, force grip too tight and uh, well, as you can see, if you squeeze a grenade here, you can prime the grenade. I want uh, more, more, I mean less gravity. To make it more fun. <laughs> Look at that. So while you are watching this video, leave a like if you like this type of videos. One of the objects in here is this thing. And I guess it also demonstrates the force grip sensor here. Look at that. I think this is so cool. This also opens up so many more possibilities to do stuff in games. Like grab an object and make it more interactable. For example, grab a um, glass of water and then squeezing it a little bit. And then maybe if you squeeze too hard, it breaks and all the water splashes out. I don't know. Something like that. It would make it so much more... And I have to say it again. Immersive. <laughs> I love it so much. What's cool about this gun is actually the finger tracking still works here with this gun. And look at how accurate it is. If I use my index finger to slowly move to the trigger button. I don't know how they did it, but it's so accurate. I'm surprised. And same with, with my uh, middle finger. If I move it like really lightly, slowly to the middle part, it tracks that. Crazy is that? If I press it in, <laughs> it will, of course, shoot grenades. Like, why wouldn't it? Can I press this button? No. Oh. Let me grab it with my other hands. Woo! Woo! Oh, I can make music in here. Very cool. Very cool. Oh! Oh, it uh, goes back in place. Let me try and. Not again! Oh! Ah. oh. Ooh, ah, higher! Oh, so awesome! So you know why grabbing objects with the knuckles is so immersive? Is because you actually don't have to press a button anymore. Open your hands to drop an item. Close your hands to grab an item. That's all you have to do. You don't have to press a button. It's awesome. <laughs> and throwing it away is just. Like what you do in real life, just opening your hands and, and just sort of throw away your controllers, except it will stay on your hand, of course. But it's cool to be able to do this motion. 
it's just so intuitive. Let me put the gravity a little bit higher. Mm. Mm. Ta da! <laughs> More realistic. Let's try and throw it harder. Uh. Uh. Oh, I'm using so much strength, and it's cool that the controllers still do not fly off my hands. Uh. Ooh. I need to learn how to throw. Ah! That was bullseye. So let me see if I can actually juggle these grenades without priming them. So I will have to be gripping them very lightly to not prime them like this. So let's try that out. So while I'm uh, trying this, I can tell you that uh, not all the games are compatible with the Knuckles at the moment because developers need to add support for them, actually. So this is why Valve has also been sending out these dev kits to um, all these developers so that they can uh, start on early with developing for them. Oh, crap. Look at the mess I made. <laughs> oh, I can show you something cool. They actually respond to each other. So if I prime a grenade right next to them, explosions happen. Fireworks on the moon. So uh, there are already some games that you can try out with the knuckles, like Onward and uh, Climbee. They have um, some support already. Uh, but if you want to try other games that don't have official support yet for the knuckles, then you can uh, use SteamVR's um, key rebinding remapping tool, and you can try remapping the inputs of the knuckles yourself and try it out. Okay, maybe with a little bit uh, less gravity. This could make it easier. Let's let's. See how much I need to throw. Yeah. Here we go. I got them, but I primed them. Let's try out the other demos actually. Let's see. Let's see. So, in this one, we have to uh, build components on each other. And I'm guessing this demo shows off that uh, you, you don't have to use your whole hand to grab an object. You can also use two fingers, as you can see right here. Let me try grabbing these. Ooh. Look at that. I, I'm pinching an object. I'm just grabbing it with a pinch with two fingers. Now I can put it on this thing. So I can do it with all, both my hands, of course. <laughs> How cool is it that you can grab like really tiny objects with just these two fingers? So I, I guess this demo basically shows the pinching and the different ways you can move with the knuckles. So I'm not going to stay here very long. But uh, with this, can I remove parts? Oop. I just removed everything. What? <laughs> I just removed earth. Woo! Wait, actually, let me just try this out. Don't you just love it when you can make a mess in VR and don't have to clean up after yourself? I love it when there's like a lot of objects on the table. I just like doing this. <laughs> it's gonna be even more fun with uh, with these hands. Look at this! Such a mess. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, move on to the last demo. And this is called Bucky Body. And you can see what you can do here. There are two remote controls here. And using this, I can control a little remote control space car. <laughs> this is so cute. I can use my uh, thumbstick to move it around, and with my trigger button, I can accelerate it in space. So they make uh, like those crazy jumps, like you can see over there. And if I move it too far away, it will just respawn back. Okay, you can actually move both of them <laughs> so wow when i'm gripping using the force grip uh, sensor when i'm using force you can actually see my hands kind of doing the same you see that all the developers need to add these kind of hand animations all of these okay developers please do so i'm doing it lightly now and now more tight <laughs> So I think these four grip sensors are also just the best improvement over the five controller grip buttons because I've demoed the five controllers to a lot of people before and uh, everyone had a hard time understanding the grip buttons on the five controllers. So I think this is going to make it so much more easier. Oh, I can move around in here. 
in this one I can. So the trackpad is actually work the same, kind of. You can uh, hard press it, and it, it makes a different input. Or you can just touch it, and it just tracks your fingers. It's like a touchpad, like the five controllers. So, I have to say, these, these controllers feel really nice on my hands. They, uh, you can uh, make it as tight as you want, or you can make it a little bit more loose if you are not going to throw a lot of things. <laughs> and, uh, well, I have to say though that uh, the strap here does seem to make my hands a little bit more sweaty than other controllers, at the, at the top side at least. But, uh, well, I guess that's kind of logical. I am going to try it. Come on! Ooh, yeah! Let's move the other one too. Oh, I'm bad at multitasking. Oh no. So, I, I, I did notice that sometimes when I try to use my pinky separately from um, the ring finger, it does seem a little bit um, unresponsive. It doesn't happen with this, this hand though. Uh, I find it hard to only uh, <laughs> move up my ring finger, but that's my real life problem. Seems like only the left side that is a little bit less responsive. Overall, the finger tracking is just very accurate. So, I guess that's it of what I can show in this demo. And uh, I'm going to move on to the outro. Let us know down below what you think of the Valve Knuckles controller so far. Do you have any feedback or anything that you would like to see in the upcoming videos? Let us know in the comments. And if there are any developers watching and you have a game that works with them, please let us know too because we would love to give them a try. Overall, we are really enjoying the Knuckles. I feel that they have such high potential in increasing immersion in certain uh, games and apps because it just feels so intuitive. And uh, I'm just happy that Valve decided to make their own controllers because uh, right now we cannot wait for the final version release. And also, some of you may or may not know, but I'm also a Java developer in uh, real life. And um, well, I took a, a VR development course a couple of months ago, a really basic one, but I am enjoying it so much. And I'm actually really excited to try out these knuckles controls and see if I can do like something small with them. I, I'm looking forward to that. These upcoming weeks, we will try a couple of games with the knuckles and uh, play around with the input remapping tool of uh, Steam VR and hopefully be able to show off some uh, gaming footage with these knuckles on the channel. And we will also work closely with Valve and uh, provide feedback where we can. So subscribe if you haven't yet to get see more of these types of videos and hit the bell to never miss anything. And of course, VR on. <laughs> Might still change, but I'm guessing that the. Ooh, let's do this again. Might still. So the knuckles that I'm holding right now are. I keep. Why do I keep doing this wrong?